Well, we will wait for that and bring it to you when they give it to us. We are already, believe it or not, at day seven of the Robert Newlander murder trial. The only time in this case, though, so far, a witness took the entire day in court. Just one witness. He's the expert who found head tissue on Leslie's headboard. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan explains why this testimony took so long. Nearly 10 years after they were taken as evidence, Leslie Newlander's bedside lamp and used water bottles were rolled into Onondaga County Court. The district attorney argues their examples of blood stains bolstering his theory, Bob beat Leslie, as he explained after the first trial. It is perfectly consistent with a blow being struck to Leslie's head while she was in that bed. And again, that accounts for the missing pillow and the, and the changing of the sheets. For this second trial, the DA brought in Kenneth Martin, a crime scene reconstruction expert, to analyze how the shapes of blood stains on the lamp, wall, alarm clock, water bottles, and blinds might explain how they got there. I cannot tell you what actually happened, he told the DA. What I can say, in my opinion, there's an event that occurred on the bed that resulted in the spatter. Some event, but maybe not exactly where the deadly blow happened, as the DA hypothesized in the first trial. Cross-examination exposed either an evolution of the DA's theory or a discrepancy between he and his witness. The defense asked, if there's no blow with a blunt object, how did the blood become available to be spattered? Martin answered, there could be an event to the right side of the bed, whether the victim falls down on the bed, is placed on the bed. When asked, there was no blow with a blunt object anywhere on the bed, the expert answers, with the limited evidence I have there, I can't answer that. While analyzing the blood spatter, this expert also found the piece of Leslie's head still on her headboard. It came up quite often in the district attorney's initial questioning, but almost wasn't mentioned in the defense's cross-examination. Outside the old Onondaga County Courthouse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.